Now we go to an I-Team exclusive. Imagine your most private information left on a city street up for anyone's taking. That's what happened outside of a medical office on the Upper East Side when hundreds of patients' files were just tossed in the trash. The I-Team's Paisy Chang is here now to tell us more about this shocking find. Well, each of these boxes are filled with papers containing personal patient information. They were left like garbage on a curb outside a medical office. The doctors whose names are on these files say this was a big mistake and they're trying to figure out how it happened. I'm a doctor myself and I have to say the concept that you would pick this up off the street on the Upper East Side of Manhattan is horrifying and completely inappropriate. Dr. Susan Vaughn was in disbelief when the I-team handed her her patient folder. Look, social security number, your social security number. No way. Inside, her address, social security number, date of birth, all the information one would need for financial fraud, not to mention sensitive medical papers Dr. Vaughn wished nobody saw. That's just incredible. Here's pictures on my insides for any Upper East Sider who would like to pick them up. You just don't expect your records to be out there in the world, on the street. Lily Way was also concerned. We found her and Dr. Vaughn's medical file in a heap of garbage outside this Upper East Side medical office. There are several offices inside, but all the folders that have been thrown onto the curb are from one office, shared by Dr. Jonathan Warman and Dr. Alexander Chun. Inside these boxes, hundreds of patient files with sensitive information and medical diagnoses, along with pictures taken during colonoscopies. Aren't they subject to confidentiality like other doctors or lawyers or, you know, or therapists? The answer is yes. Medical records are fiercely protected under medical privacy laws known as HIPAA. In fact, every patient who sees Dr. Alexander Chun and Dr. Jonathan Warman has to sign a patient privacy form, affirming that the practice is required by law to maintain the privacy of this record. HIPAA rules require doctors to safeguard patient medical records, including properly destroying them. But we found these records intact outside that medical office. Each of these records constitutes a HIPAA violation, and HIPAA violations are expensive. Last year, a medical records maintenance company was fined $100,000 for leaving protected health information in an unlocked truck in a public parking lot. And a California hospital system was fined $3 million for not securing patient information on their servers, leading to exposure of private information of 62,000 patients. We recently moved offices. Outside their East 76th Street office, Dr. Warman told us he doesn't know who threw the records out, but that they recently moved down the hall. Whatever charts that I could not, that were waiting to be shredded were by where the bin should be shredded. People who have come into the office to clean things out, they may have thrown out things of ours that should have not been thrown out inadvertently. Dr. Vaughn, who heads the psychoanalytic department at Columbia University, says that is no excuse. Medical records are supposed to be locked up. If your shredder bin, which should be locked, is full, you call the shredder company. I would never, ever let this happen in my practice. The Department of Health and Human Services is investigating this breach. When we confronted Dr. Warman, he said he had heard files were thrown out. But you did hear a couple of days ago that yes. someone may have thrown out medical records. Yes. What did what? you do at that point? Well, at that point, there's not much I don't know because I don't know which, which records were thrown out. An attorney for both doctors say the files were in the old office, which was locked at all times. They believe cleaners accidentally threw the files out, but they're still looking into it. They asked the I-team to return all 10 boxes of material, which we intend to do. This time, the doctors say they will dispose of them properly. Paisy Cheng, News 4, New York. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can stay up to date by hitting the subscribe button below me. Also on the left, you can see some of our latest updates, investigations, and features. We'll see you next time.